Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> welcome back. I'm here to do the last video of my collection, and I wanted to save my, I guess, most valuable prized possession in the collection for last. And I will show it to you guys now. Um, probably be the first time you've seen one. You probably, most of you probably didn't even know it was out or available. I wouldn't say available now because it's really hard to find. But uh, that is my exclusive. That would be my Resident Evil 5 uh, limited edition PlayStation 3. Here it is. Only released in Japan. Never came to the States. Released in very limited quantities in Japan. And I'll go ahead and show it off the box. So, so you guys can get a better picture of it. Here's the front. There's the side, it's got Chris on the side. In the back, it's got uh, some scenes from the game. And the other side has Jill. Not Jill, I'm sorry, Shevo. And there's one thing I wanted to point out was uh, here's the actual game that came with it. Come with the, the console itself. And what's unique about this game is it actually came with a copy of Biohazard Degeneration right on the disc. Yep, you can see it right here. And it's what really strange about it, I noticed is it actually has Biohazard written in English on the spine. But a lot of other Biohazard games, it's in uh, Japanese. So I thought that was kind of strange. It might be something specific to this console, I don't know. But yeah, most of um, the other Japanese games I have for PlayStation 3, Resident Evil 5, they don't come with the disc. I mean the disc. The actual movie, Biohazard Degeneration. So that's unique. And I'll go ahead and open the, the box up for you guys. Um, I've never used it. I've opened the box just to get the game out when I bought the console years ago. So that's the only reason I opened the box. Otherwise, I've never, I've never hooked this thing up. So I'll go ahead and open it. Let you guys get a good look at the console itself. Make sure it's still in the camera. I'll raise it up a little bit. So we got controllers. Controllers are nothing special. Yeah, it came with two controllers. I mean, the cables and stuff I'm not going to bother you with. Bug you with. Take the console out. Some paperwork. Let me try to find how rare this thing is. I don't know how many of them were made or sold. I don't think it was a very many of them. Take this shit off. Like I said, you can see it's it's never been used. Make sure I get a picture for you guys. There it is, sorry. So there it is. Here's the console itself. What makes this console, uh, in my opinion, valuable is the fact that it's a limited edition console, but actually has physical markings on the console itself, like here. You can see actual try try seal from the game. I hope you guys can see that. That's physically on there. And you can see right here, it actually has the word biohazard on it. But other than that, I mean, it's just typical, uh, is it 80 gig? Yeah, it's 80 gig PlayStation 3. But, uh, yeah, just the fact that alone, I mean, it's not just a different color in the box. It doesn't just have something limited edition and whatever on there. But that's what makes this thing special, in my opinion. You don't seem too much. So there it is, another look at it. And there actually is a kind of a funny story about how I got this thing. But I knew it was coming out in the stores because I saw 
advertisements and stuff about it. But uh, so I go there. The day was released, and talking to the shopkeeper. Obviously, she's not up on games like I am, but so I told her I wanted the limited edition Biohazard PlayStation 3. And of course, she didn't know what the hell I was talking about. So, but uh, after a long conversation and. She finally went to the warehouse and she dug out a bunch of boxes and we're going through the boxes and she's bringing out PlayStation 3s. I'm saying, no, no, no. And then she's trying to hand me this game. I'm like, no, 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 not just the game, I want the console. And So after about 15, 20 minutes, she finally found a, a box. She pulled this out of the box. There was only two. They had an the entire store. So, uh, you know, obviously I got it. Um, paid about 500 bucks for it at the time. Bought it, took it home, and uh, that's it. But it's just funny, I, f I f kind of felt bad for her because she kept... She'd bring me in just a PlayStation 3, a plain one, and then she'd bring the game, and then... She'd bring the game, the limited edition game, and I was like, no, no, the box, the, the console, and... She didn't know what the hell I was talking about, but... Oh yeah, guys, uh... That's it. This is, uh... What I've been talking about for the last... Month or two. Like I said, it's never been used. It's never been plugged into a wall. Never will. I don't ever think I'll get that uh, desperate. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. You got any questions? Feel free. Like I said, I've never seen one of these on eBay. Never seen one on Amazon. Even when I go down, I would go to downtown Tokyo to the uh, used game stores. I would never see one in the shops. I would see the Metal Gear one, the Final Fantasy. PlayStation 3 limited editions all the time, but because I wanted to actually get a used one, you know, actually have in my game room and I could play on, but I could never find one. So, good luck if you're looking for one. Uh, mine's not for sale. If I were to sell it, it'd be for, for probably shit. Be a lot of money. Um, I did see one used one time in his Japanese website. And it went for a grand used. That was just a console, no box or nothing. Thousand dollars just for it used. So like I said, this is it's new, never been used. But the box is open. So I I really don't know what I would uh, try to sell it for. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed. Questions, comments. Feel free.